This year has been quite rough for me mentally. It's my favorite time of day. We're so young, but seem to be like so adult. These are my specialty bags. A dog just came and ate one of our toasties. Perfect. Makasi. Come to the beach is not even that early, it's like you know, between 8 and 9 a.m. Um, but decided to come down and get a coffee, a drink, and a bit of breakfast. It's just such a lovely time to be down here. It's very quiet, very peaceful, everyone's chilling. It's just a nice way to start the day. Okay, a dog just came and ate one of our toasties. <laughs> you can't leave food out for five minutes, um, so we've got two left, but we've got ham and cheese toasty. I got me a salmon and cream cheese bagel, a classic, iced latte, and an orange juice. It actually comes as a set, it's a really good deal. And this is the first thing I've eaten today, it's 11 o'clock, so I need to eat. I need to dry my hair straight after this. I don't know if any of you ladies have curly hair as well, like naturally curly hair. Apparently you're supposed to never blow dry your hair when it's soaking wet. So I always give it about 30 minutes, I let it dry like 90% and then I blow dry my hair. So yeah, I need to quickly eat this and then I'm going to go fix my hair. Mm. So look, I haven't had smoked salmon in so long, it's one of my favourites. We had our pool guy come yesterday and he's put this amazing blue colour in the pool. And it looks so cool, I love it. Okay, my hair has been blow dried. I feel so much better when it's blow dried properly. I don't know, I just feel like more like myself. Right off the bat, I'm sorry for my absence recently. Trust me, 2024 is gonna be a very different year for me, for this YouTube channel. This year has been quite rough for me mentally and it's really had a negative effect on me. It's had a negative effect on the way I do my job. And I'm making a promise to myself and to you guys that 2024 is gonna be very, very different. So if you have stuck around with me, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. As always, it's time to get excited about a new year. I'm ready to say goodbye to 2023. So you guys know I mentioned in my previous vlog that my parents would come to visit um, in Bali. And they came and I took them to Cinnamon, which is one of my most favorite parts of Bali ever. It's beautiful. I'll leave a Cinnamon vlog up here if you guys are interested. I've been to quite a few places on this island now and I would say that Cinnamon is one of my favorites. But because they've been traveling a lot, they've been traveling through India, they had a massive travel time from India to Bali. They got sick along the way, um, which resulted in everyone getting <laughs> sick at the same time. And so when we were away in Cinnamon, my dad started getting sick and my mum got sick. Then I got sick and it was <laughs> it's just like, oh, here we go. I feel like it's a Christmas tradition at this point. Every time I've spent Christmas with them over the past two years, someone has inevitably got sick. I just think it's also that time of year where everyone is starting to get illnesses again. Flus and colds are on the on the rise and it was just one of those things that we had. Anyway, so I wanted to film a vlog when they came and <laughs> we were just all so under the weather. It would have been the most miserable vlog ever, so I didn't. I've only just recovered, but I'm feeling much better. Christmas is only a few days away and then it's my birthday, my Capricorn baby, end of December baby. Does anyone else feel super disorientated about their age since COVID? I just feel like we lost three years. Mentally, I feel like I'm three years younger than now.
wet from the pool. I've got this giant towel thing on. Um, so I don't want to sit on the sofa. Absolutely starving. I've just like bulk filmed a load of TikToks. And it doesn't sound exhausting, but it is. <laughs> and I'm tired and it's like, it's like 3.30 and I haven't had lunch. So here we are. I'm gonna watch some TV on the living room floor. My man just bought me some food from the local Warung. I've just got noodles, spring roll, veg, and there's like the shredded chicken. It's really, really good. P.S. A new season of The Hills is on Netflix now. And this show is responsible for my reality TV show addiction. I spent so many of my teenage years being absolutely addicted to the hills. I was just fascinated that these people were so young but seemed to be like so adult at the same time. And just getting an insight into like American life was just so amazing to me. I was just, I was just amazed. The hills and Laguna Beach were the first shows to get me invested in reality TV. I hadn't seen anything like it before. Anyway, long story short, new season is on Netflix. If you guys love reality TV shows as well, let me know which is your favorite. Okay, it's my favourite time of day. Golden hour is always my favourite time of day. I'm not a morning person, more of an evening person, but golden hour, to me, just nothing beats it. And it's the perfect time to come for a walk. So I'm at one of my favourite walking spots here in Changu. I've never seen the rice fields this long before in my life. They've let the rice grow and it looks so beautiful. Um, so yeah, just gonna go for a walk. Just saying how we've never actually seen the skyline and the sky look so clear. Apparently it's been really clear for the past week. You can even see this uh, mountain here in the background po poking through which you actually never see and then you can even see Uluwatu all the coastline on the other side if I could I change your season was here because it was the weather changed drastically it was raining every day and all of a sudden it's gone back to like 30 degrees and it's so hot every single day not the Christmas period I was expecting actually the day this vlog's going up it'll be Christmas tomorrow so I hope you all have a lovely Christmas break and get to spend some quality time with your family anyway it's coffee time I'm gonna go out grab a coffee um, sit in one of my favorite spots to people watch and yeah I just need to get out of the house so let's go do a coffee run Okay, let's go. I think this vlog is just full of me drinking orange juice at this point. This is a giant breakfast burrito, egg, bacon, tomato. It's very good. Thanks, man. I realise I'm still talking about food, but I'm going to go pick up um, some sourdough bread. This is the only place I trust to do the most delicious sourdough bread. I have a couple of new really exciting like personal creative projects that I'm starting and 
I don't know, it's just got me all excited again. I think as a creative person, it's like your creativity comes in ebbs and flows and it's just really nice to have found something that really gets me excited again. There were so many amazing Christmas songs that they were playing in that cafe. It really actually got me in the festive mood, which was nice because I hadn't been feeling very Christmassy at all. And then I was thinking about what I could do tonight. When I was younger, we had a Christmas tradition where on Christmas Eve, we'd always go to the cinema and we'd either watch like a new Harry Potter movie or we watch like the new Lord of the Rings movies. So tonight I think I'm gonna put on Lord of the Rings. I don't know why I find those two movies festive. It's probably just because I associate them with this like Christmas, Christmas tradition that we had. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna watch Lord of the Rings tonight on the projector. Uh oh. Disaster when you realize you've only got five tea bags left. These are my special tea bags. They're the M&S Earl Grey tea bags. I switched to Earl Grey a few months ago and I literally can't go back to regular builders tea. I'm an Earl Grey girl now through and through. But the only place I can find really delicious Earl Grey is at M&S. And there is an, there is an M&S, but it's about an hour away from here. So if anyone wants to send me some Earl Grey tea bags from Singapore, I wouldn't say no. I'm gonna have some toast. I also never thought the day would come. I'm a bit of a changed woman this year. I also <laughs> realized that I never thought the day would come where I would turn into a Vegemite girl. Um, I've always been a Marmite girl. And since moving here, the only thing they have available is Vegemite. They don't have Marmite. And I've got to say, I really like it. I like to add slices of cheddar cheese on my Marmite toast. I know it looks weird, but honestly, it tastes so, so all right guys i'm gonna wrap up the vlog here um but i hope you have an amazing christmas merry christmas to you all i hope you have a wonderful christmas break and i will see you next week with a new video bye guys